old-fashioned woman didn't focus all her efforts on food, the getting, the storing, the recipe creation. She had a full life of serving her family, and to hyper-focus on one area would cause other areas to default. Hey guys, how's it going? This is Jacqueline, the Unimportant Homemaker, and today let's talk about homemaking. Truly, we are all susceptible to fear. Some people are afraid of losing all their money, so they hoard it. They work burdensome hours, all in an effort to make sure they are never low on money. Others experience fear of failure, causing them to avoid taking risks and instead stay within their comfort zone. Some people are afraid of being unsuccessful, so they push themselves and their children to overachieve. Some people are terrified of being unfashionable or overweight or forgotten, so they go through excessive obsessions of dieting, binge shopping, and trying to become either famous or infamous. For the housewife, our fear has convinced us that our families will go hungry. To prevent that, we purchase food in bulk and start large burdensome gardens and raising as many animals as possible, all in an effort to make sure we won't be hungry. These are amazing plans. Being involved in the growing, harvesting, and processing of food is a noble pursuit. It nourishes you and makes you feel in touch with nature, but this has become increasingly exploited. Being afraid of hunger I feel is an American problem, as if getting hungry is the worst kind of evil. Hunger is temporary. Our bodies experience it, or is supposed to experience it, on small levels every day. I remember a time when I was actually terrified of getting hungry, especially when I worked outside the home. I was on a clock, and there were set break times, so I would go ahead and eat to make sure I didn't get hungry. Did you hear what I said? I said I would eat to make sure I didn't get hungry. That's literally nuts. Hunger tells you to eat. I ate so hunger wouldn't talk to me. I would eat the three squares and the two snacks marketing has told me is the standard way of eating. I consumed calories according to a clock instead of natural body cues. After breaking free from the madness, I now became bombarded by social media posts. Everybody's mama is an influencer and is willing to devote her life to picture-perfect pantries, which I love. Don't misunderstand me. The aesthetic of shelves laden with jars filled with homegrown food, the five-gallon buckets lining the floor, and the massive collection of rings, lids, and mylar bags seduces the housewife. She looks at this and she desires it for herself. As she collects her items, she feels absolutely wealthy. She fantasizes about walking down to her home grocery store in her basement, pulling out items for today's meal prep, and waltzing back into the kitchen to perform a miracle of homemaking wonder. Triple points are awarded if the meal contains kamut or einkorn flour or organic barley pearls. <laughs> However, after indulging in the sweet bulk shopping fantasy for several years, I decided that I'd rather spend my money on less but better quality food. The goal, I believe, is not to see how much food you can have at your home, as if creating your own grocery store isn't actually a weird idea. It is, by the way. One whole purpose of grocery stores is the fact that keeping all that inventory at your own home is unrealistic. What if your health changes and you want to head in a completely different avenue in terms of food? I shuddered at the overindulgence of items I purchased. I was hoarding jars and lids like it was gold. And it still wasn't enough because now homemakers are freeze drying foods. Why? Why are we making these products that we've never even used to see? Like freeze dried candy and freeze dried watermelon. Come on, people. This is yet another way to get your pockets empty and your belly full. How come our recipes have evolved into merely belly fillers? I literally hear women saying things like, this meal is full of calories to make sure no one goes hungry. 
Has the feeding of our bodies been reduced to mere calorie consumption? How is this right? The old-fashioned woman prioritized whole foods and ensured her family was well-nourished. She didn't obsess over the details of food preparation, but saw it as part of a bigger picture, serving her family. Get single ingredients, make food with them. She believed in the power of whole foods to nourish and sustain her loved ones. Rather than getting caught up in the minutia of food preparation, she approached it with simplicity and practicality. While she was open to learning new recipes and techniques, she emphasized the importance of using single ingredients to create delicious meals. For her, cooking was just a means of serving and caring for her family, ensuring they were nourished and satisfied. I'd love to read your thoughts on the whole grocery store at home philosophy down below in the comment section. I know there are a lot of smart people here. That's it for today, guys. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time here at the Homestead. Bye.